Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at a new Mimikyu card. And the thing is, right, Mimikyu generally has pretty gosh darn good cards. There is the copycat Mimikyu that we've all been playing for a little while. It's been a really fun tech as both a fairy card and as a psychic card. And of course, Mimikyu GX was a nice little tech in fairy decks for a little while. Gengar and Mimikyu has proven to be a very, very fun deck in psychic decks. And right now we got the Mimikyu from Cosmic Eclipse that turns off the abilities of GX Pokemon with any damage counters on. Generally sees playing a lot of decks like Dragapult that are dropping damage counters. So we have high hopes for Mimikyu. Can this one stand up? Well, our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet. Stop me if you've heard that one before. And if we start off having a look at the basics, we've got 70 HP. 70 HP is abysmal. 70 HP is absolutely tiny, and you're not going to survive many hits at all. Now, to be fair, they all have 70 HP. Like, not the GX. Obviously, the GX had more than that. Although, to be fair, it was 170, which was still low for a GX. So, okay, the HP is very, very low, but we kind of expected it, so maybe we can't be too upset. Retreat cost of 1 means you have free retreat with U-turn board, which is always fairly handy. And the resistance to fighting is really good, because although fighting decks aren't great right now, there's so many Pokemon around, like Pikachu and Zekrom now, and Eternatus VMAX in the not-too-distant future, that are weak to fighting and are really good then I think fighting Pokemon are going to see a lot more play. But then again, you've only got 70 HP. And then you've got weakness to darkness, which is honestly not ideal. One of the things that we see people really like to play is that Hooper, that for one colorless energy does 10 damage base, plus 20 more for each of your opponent's Pokemon that have any abilities. So clearly here, you've already got an ability on Mimikyu itself, so, if one other of your Pokemon has an ability, Hooper's going to take you down as a basic Pokemon for a single colorless energy, and you don't want to be countered by a basic Pokemon for a single colorless energy. That's generally not a good way to win the game. Oh yeah, and you're a psychic Pokemon, which means when the rotation hits, about when this comes out, you lose Mysterious Treasure to search yourself out more easily. And you lose Spell Tag to drop damage counters when you get KO'd. And you lose Malamar to do a bit of extra energy acceleration. You basically lose all of your good tricks. And it's not like the attack is any good here. 2 energy, 30 damage. No! Bearing in mind Mew is a basic Pokemon that protects your bench. Which is really good. Especially with Pikachu and Zekrom running around. And for one colorless energy, one energy, not two, it drops three damage counters anywhere you like. So it doesn't all have to go on the active Pokemon, and it doesn't all have to even go on the same Pokemon. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is not good. But Mimikyu is getting its own video, and there's a very good reason for it. It's the ability. Now, according to the lovely Antoine Boulet, the ability is called Heal Stop, and it reads, If this Pokemon is in play, does not have to be active, your opponent's bench Pokemon cannot be healed. Oh. Yeah, this, this is good. This is extremely good. This is absolutely worth playing. This is very, very similar to the Mr. Mime that came around in Team Up and still sees a bunch of play. Mr. Mime says your opponent's Pokemon with any damage counters on and any cards attached to those Pokemon cannot be put into your opponent's hand. At the time, it stopped Ace Roller picking up damage Pokemon, but nowadays it stops Scoop Up Net and Super Scoop Up. Scoop Up Net more so because that's seeing a lot of play right now and isn't just about to rotate out. 
And that's what Mr. Mime does, and that's why Mr. Mime is so good. Anytime your opponent wants to pick up a Pokemon to heal it or reuse an ability, for instance, a coming into play ability, Mr. Mime pops up and he's just like, no, mate, that's not on. Well, Mimikyu's a similar kind of thing. It stops healing. And the thing is, healing's actually pretty good right now. Now, probably the most relevant healing card we've got is Mallow and Lana. Now, Mallow and Lana read, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. When you play this card, you may discard two other cards from your hand. If you do, heal 120 damage from the Pokemon you moved to the bench, i.e. past tense, i.e. has already been moved. Plus, we know we read these cards top to bottom, you switch then you heal. The point is, Mimikyu only stops your benched Pokemon from healing, which means it only stops Mallow and Lana if it heals after you go to the bench. And it does. So all of a sudden here, we have got just a flat out phenomenal counter to Mallow and Lana. And Mallow and Lana sees a lot of play, ladies and gentlemen. Mallow and Lana sees a lot of play. Especially for two and three prize Pokemon. It's a one-off in an awful lot of tag team and VMAX decks. Because, you know, Dragapult VMAX goes down you're giving up three prizes. So being able to heal it and prevent that happening is clearly a good thing. It's gone. Though it only stops healing on the bench. So something like Mixed Herbs, for instance. Which lets you heal 90 damage in all special conditions from your active... Well, it only works on your active, so clearly this isn't going to have an effect. Something like Great Potion, which heals 50 from your active Pokemon GX, clearly isn't going to work. Well, clearly is going to work. Mimikyu's not going to work against it. And similarly, indeed, either heals 20 damage from your active, again, is going to completely ignore Mimikyu. The fact that it only heals your active Pokemon does specifically exclude a bunch of widely played healing cards. Okay. But then again, it still stops Mallow and Lana. And it's not the only thing. We saw Milotic came around. It's going to be in a... Different set in Japan, one set later, but it is going to be in the same set when this comes over here. This is all going to be in Darkness Ablaze. And the Milotic says that once during your turn, you may heal 10 damage from all of your Pokemon. Now, of course, the weird thing about Milotic here is that you would heal 10 damage from all of your bench, but you then specifically would not be healing the 10 damage from your active. You would literally heal the bench, but not the active, because Mimikyu would be blocking the active, but would not be blocking the bench. Simple as that. But that's still huge. Also, Milotic heals 20, not 10. My apologies. The point is, Milotic is great for healing. And I don't know how much play it's going to see. Because tournaments are off in Japan, so we haven't been able to do what we would usually be doing in such a circumstance and taking a cheeky look at Japanese results to see what was being played and what wasn't. But there's clearly a lot of potential. The other one, and let's be clear, right, this just does not see any play. But this is actually a really good counter to Champions Festival. Now, this has been given out at the World Championships every year since 2013 as the World's Promo Card. But once during each player's turn, if that player has six Pokemon in play, he or she may heal 10 damage from each of his or her Pokemon. Now again, Mimikyu would not stop the active being healed, but it would stop all the bench. Of course, one of the things that I would find hilarious here is playing Champions Festival and Mimikyu, so I can heal 10 from all of my bench Pokemon and my active, but my opponent is only healing from their active. That would amuse me, ladies and gentlemen. That would amuse me. The fact of the matter is, this Mimikyu is very much a matchup card. If you're sitting there looking at Dragapult V Max going, I need to two hit KO, and if they heal in between, I can't win, clearly Mimikyu is the answer to that problem. Mimikyu comes along and goes, right boys, I got this, stop some healing and you win the game. 
But if you're just playing this on the off chance your opponent is healing, like I've said, there's a bunch of healing cards that this is not going to work for. This is basically a tech against Mallow and Lana, and then Milotic and Champions Festival if anybody plays them. But the fact of the matter is, in games where this is going to work, it is really going to work. And at the end of the day, we're talking a basic Pokemon. It's one spot in your deck. It's got a retreat cost of one, so the likelihood is it's not being trapped in the active very easily. This is very much a tech, but in the right deck, it's a phenomenal tech. So let's give it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. Though if you did want to just kind of nudge it up to four Wossies, I probably wouldn't be upset. Not for every deck, but when it works, it works. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I think about this. But I'd like to know what you think about this lovely new Mimikyu. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are pretty gosh darned awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.